Hey guys, this is Lava Thor, and welcome back to Minecraft. Today I'm showcasing some of the stuff that's going on, and then we're going to have some fun with building up some of our farms and projects. Uh, we've kind of accumulated a lot of projects, and we haven't really finished any of them. Uh, oh, this I think this is so funny. So, and I I got this dirt block here. And uh, Enderman placed it, and I, d I don't know why, I just think that's funny, I know they place it, but, like, what's the chances of him just grabbing one and dropping it here? Anyways, so, let's do that. Okay, I've been, um, doing quite a bit, let's go ahead and sleep so we can get the day. I did find another kitty cat, so let's see if we can get both these to sleep on us, because I think that's funny. Oh, they're so adorable. Okay, you guys stay right there. Okay, um, so yeah, we were working on the creeper farm before, and I got the main structure of it finished. I got all the glass in, uh, I got it all set up, we got it fixed, oh my gosh, I got it fixed. That was a little bit of a hassle. Let's see if I can kind of showcase it a bit. Let me use some of these. I don't really want to go inside of it, but, okay. Okay, you see there the the dropper? I had to raise it up one. Okay, I guess we're going in. And put the observer up one, and then mine these parts out. And it was a big hassle, but it works now. The problem is it goes out one further, so I had to extend this out one. So you see, but luckily I was an idiot, and I made the glass for one further than it should have been. So that works out pretty well. The creepers still fall down, and it all works out. So that was kind of nice that it, it ended up working okay. The problem is those little four spots... Sometimes spiders spawn there, and it's not big enough for spiders to fall, so spiders kind of clog it up sometimes, which is kind of annoying. Oh, what are you doing following me? Stay right there. I'll be back. Okay, so the the way this works, though, is with your, if you're so far away, it'll spawn monsters, but there's so many caves and junk below us that, like, that kind of fills it up. So what we did, what I did was I built this platform. It's temporary for now. I'm going to... Build something better and down the road. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> missed it again. Why am I so bad at this? Let's try... There we go. Oh, okay. So I got this part up here, and this should be just high enough that nothing spawns on the ground, but they'll all spawn inside of that and fall down. Look, you can already see spiders kind of coming. So yeah, the only thing in range is the tower. Maybe one or two specks of dirt down there, but... Yeah, it should just be the tower. So this is kind of the highest highest point on it. Okay, let's go down and see. Yeah, look at all those spiders everywhere. Spiders, spiders. So many stinking spiders. Okay, there's the creepers though. Woo! Can you hear them? And I can technically convert this just mine out that little block they're getting stuck on that way they fall here and I could kill them but I'm so afraid they're gonna blow up but yeah I've been getting decent rates on it I mean not a whole lot but plenty enough to power I mean I got three or four more stacks of fireworks and I got plenty of gunpowder so it's been work out pretty nice I have a design of a medieval lighthouse that's like white and blue that looks very um, Olympian and I really want to use that the only problem is it kind of clashes with some of my designs of the stuff I have around the base, but I think that's fine. It'll look cool, and that's all that matters is it looks cool. So we're gonna work on that too. Okay. The next thing is the mo the ocean monument. Whew, that was a hassle. <laughs> I uh, cleared that out. Oh, what's the cow doing? The cow got out. Oh, why can I not? <laughs> why am I so bad at this game? I know, you guys are trying to kill me. Leave me alone. Okay. There's guardians everywhere still. There was two sponge rooms. So I got, I think, 56, 56 sponges after I killed the three guardians. Elder guardians. But I've been mining this out. I got it all cleared out with sponges. That took, I think, three hours on Sunday. Just little bit by little bit. Whew! But I did. I think there's a couple of specks in some of the walls that still have a little bit of water. Pretty much it's all cleared. I've just been slowly mining it out. Look, I set this up because I was just, I was literally just cooking sponges, placing them, cooking, placing, going forward as much as I can. 
I think this room was the final one and it was a hassle. Some of these other walls were a little bit of annoying. But yeah, I got it all cleared out. It was <laughs> monuments are so funny how how you can get so lost in them. It's like a height dungeon. But yeah, so I got I've been mining this a lot of this out collecting these. So I got a full chest of stuff. And yeah, so that's been kind of nice. Okay, let's let's get out of here. So even though we don't really need it, I want to finish out my amethyst farm because I got those two down there with the water and the kelp. And let me go show you guys the progress on that. I think it's just so massive. That's the problem. This tower, if I make it into a tower, it's going to be so big. It's going to make everything else look so small. So I'm really going to have to step up my game and start making bigger structures. Oh, okay, I still haven't made this much bigger, so it's still a death trap to fly down. Let's see, Let's see if I can do this. If I get just right on the bottom, I can fly about half of it. Oh well, whatever. Oh. But yeah, so I got the Amethyst Farms down here. I got them all filled up with water. I'm just getting the kelp. It's not all source blocks because you need kelp for that. But this one's mostly done. Let's see if I can get up here. <laughs> it looks so weird being just all kelp. The problem is you have to like grow some of the kelp next to these and then like mine those spots out. The, the, the crystals, the Amethyst. But what I want to do is I want to place the walls with uh, Prismarine. Make some, I think the Prismarine. Oh, I don't even have a, do I have a stage in here? Oh, here it is, okay. I'm not quite sure exactly what I want to do. Do I even have a crafting bench? Oh, okay, let me go get a crafting bench. Get, and some bones. Oh. oh, I didn't hurt that one, okay. Um. Yeah, we need. Let's get a crafting bench. Let's get a stone cutter, and let's get some bones. And we can go finish that all on screen together. What do you guys think? Oh, that almost killed me. I think I have some bones still. I have the skelly farm. I still haven't set up that. That's going to be another project. Another, another project. Another time. So many things to do. It's a little time. Oh, I was going the wrong, wrong storage. There we go. On oh, speaking of, uh, yeah, see, I got plenty of rockets. Okay, let's let's go with some bones. Did I put them away? Okay, I think I did put them away. Oh yeah, here they are. Okay, let's let's just take them all. And then we needed a crafting table. And some more chests, just, just in case. You never know. You never know. Oh, also, I got a couple of pumpkin guys set up to trade pumpkins with over at the trading hall. The, the trading emptiness, whatever it is. The trading pen. <laughs> and, yeah, and, and they uh, sell me golden carrots, too, so that's kind of nice. Oh, I know I did this earlier really well once. Here we go. Okay. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I still need to fix this. <laughs> Honestly, I should just put stairs and call it good, but I want to I want to make it I want to make it flyable. That might not be possible though because it is going like down an angle. Maybe you just got to be get better skills, get good at it. Okay, let's pick this up. Let's put a chest down. Um Let's mine some of this out. You go, no, what are you doing up there? You go here. Oh, we forgot our stone cutter. Oh, well, I guess we'll just have to do everything manually. Because can't we make, yeah, okay. Let's drop all this crap down. Okay, let's get some bone meal going. Okay. Let's see what if it's not grown yet. We can just grow the rest of it. Because getting all this kelp out of the way would be very nice. Honestly, we could just... 
go across and just kind of yeah, because you don't need to be at the top part, technically. Yeah, we'll just walk along the bottom and grow it. Okay, I used up all my bones, and I still got some sections to go. So I figured, well, we'll just let it grow. Let's go ahead and get the whole wall all mined out. And we can go ahead and put some prismarine in. So let me get this mined out, and I will be right back. Okay, we got the whole outer wedge all cleared out, at least on the main section. We found eight diamonds! That was crazy! Oh, I also wanted to show you guys this thing. I think this is just so fascinating. Uh, oh yeah, I'm like, that's weird. It doesn't really matter what we use, because we're going to mine the way in a second. But if you completely encircle this... Let's see exactly what it takes to do it. Nope, not there yet. I think no one ever sees it because you have to be like inside of it when it does it. It's not doing it. It's supposed to like open this little eye up. Maybe these don't work? The bricks don't work? Or maybe I have to do the edges. Let's try this. Why is it trying to click the redstone? That's weird. I mean, it should just work, right? Does it have to be like these edges too? I don't think it should. Okay. Oh, we gotta check the top too, I guess, too, huh? Yep. Didn't even think about that. Okay. Oh, it turned off. I'm like. There, turn back on. Okay, these queer ones do matter, I think. Okay, let's fill it back up over here. Let's see, I got some more blocks, I think. Anything prismarine works, I believe. Okay, we need more prismarine. Let's get some more from our treasure chest. Or our ender, our uh, shulker box. It's funny what like things it happened. Was it because I put that block there? Yeah, that's so weird. Okay. 
Do you guys see it? Okay, I guess, can we have all but like two? Will that do it? Oh, all but one. I guess all of it? We'll do it just one? Come on, you were open a second ago. Oops, I didn't want it that. Open up. <gasps> there it is. It opens up when you have it completely in circle. But, like, you have to be inside to see it. Oh, yeah, I see it closed. Okay. Anyways, how do I get out? <laughs> I'm so lost. Nope. This way. Okay. Well, anyways, though. Um, I need to come up with a design for this. So, let me go play around some stuff and I'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead and borrowed some kelp from the other farm. <laughs> borrowed a stole, took. And I just went and finished all the kelp, at least all that I could see. I mean, I might be missing a block here, a piece here or there on the top. But I think I have all of it. I can't... I can't really see... Maybe in between some of these there might be, but it should have grown already. I think I got it all. The kelp is kind of getting in the way, getting annoying. So what better way to get rid of it than do it together? I mean, how satisfying that is this going to be? Oh boy. Okay, you guys ready? What should I do? Start in the corner? Yeah, let's start in the corner. Let's go! Whoa. <laughs> There's so much kelp. Woo! I'm so glad to get rid of this. It's been so annoying. Look at that. The piece already grew. Oh, it's growing. Like, the crystals have been waiting to grow so bad. They're like, yay, finally we're free! Suckers! Because they've been blocked by this kelp for so long. Okay, let's get all these top pieces off now. Oh, it feels so open. My... I don't, oh man, it feels so free now. All that kelp, even though I can move in it, like not be able to see, was just, I don't know, the worst. That just felt so claustrophobic and closed. Okay, we have, we have kelp for millions of years now. Not really, but, oh man. The edges are not actually source blocks, they're pulling me in. Okay, I got a design here. I don't know, what do you guys think? I kind of like it. It's simple. I might. Oh man, I got so much kelp. I might play with it a bit though. But let's go ahead and take that and extend it out. I want to do the bottom... Oh boy. <laughs> I want to do the bottom... The dark? But I don't have a lot of dark. And I need ink sacks to make that, so... We're going to do that last, I think. So what I've been doing is just mining this out. Uh, this is kind of the slow way, I guess. Oh, okay, let's... What? This much? Okay. And then I put some of this stuff in here, the regular prismarine. Because I got tons of that. I can get more of that. That stuff's easy to get. And then I've been putting a block of this down, a stair, block, stair, and then I have to water this. Actually, I probably need to water all of this, to be completely honest. I might just go get some ice and just break the ice. It's probably be a lot easier to do that. Let's see, one, two, one. Yeah, okay. And then after I do that, I put three sea lanterns in. Just to give it some extra lighting. All oh, the glow skids. Hi, Mr. Glow Squid. Oh, there's still so much, so much kelp everywhere. Oh, I don't know. My, my OCD is saying, pick it up before it despawns. And I'm like, I got so much. It's like, it doesn't matter. Pick it up. <laughs> I'm like, but I don't want to. So I kind of want to replicate that all the way around. I need some gradient on it though, but I don't know. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of floor. 
A dark prismarine. Look at how close we are to the bottom. That was bedrock. Yeah, see, there's some more. We are that close to the bottom of the world. Ah! My guy keeps trying to swim down. That on the bottom. We need, obviously, something to go along with it. But I think that would be a good start. Yeah. What do you guys think, though? Let's continue this on. I got some of this. Let's see. Because it's... Just go along the whole bottom because we don't... Oops. We don't need that bottom part. Oh, man. The outside edge is not source blocks. And it keeps... There's like a current, a flow it keeps trying to pull me in with. Then we'll have to do an arch or something for this entrance. I think, I don't know, I like arches. You know, we could get some copper and do an arch with a copper too. This is technically, yeah, see I want this to be open a little bit. Does it still extend? Okay. I have to adjust that a bit though. But let's see, this goes up. Oh, why am I so bad at this? Okay. But yeah, so let me let me go and finish some of this and I will be right back. Okay, I came back to get supplies. And this guy isn't bringing he's placed another block. He's back for more. I just I just got rid of it. And he's going to place another one. You kidding me? You know what? We're not putting up with this, buddy. You're destroying my houses, placing grass blocks everywhere. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? We're gonna die. There he is. Yep, get out. Take your grass block with you. I really don't know where he is now. Okay, we're back. Oh. I've been doing a lot of work on this, and I think it looks really nice. I like the the orange terracotta. It goes well with the green because it has a little bit of green in it. And then I uh, put a little indent of purple down below just to match, bring in, tie in the amethyst. And then I really, really like these uh, inlays on the walls where I put the the staircase in them. And it's just the, what is it, blue, light blue yellow or whatever but then you know you can make different patterns with them so they're just three different kinds uh and lay different two different kind times and then oh man i've been running out of this stuff that's why i had to do this weird pattern a little bit the dark prismarine but i really had to go back to the monument dig out a little more because i wanted this to be just offset like this it's not completely surrounded so it's not gonna have the eye open it's not gonna have as extended range but it's it's works really well how it is uh, I haven't done this wall, I haven't done that wall, Whew, it's been a project, I had to go run back and forth a lot to get this. I have two terracotta boxes. Uh, this doesn't belong here, it goes, here we go. I got two terracotta boxes. <laughs> oh man. I also need, oh yeah, here's my prismarine box, which I need to set up a little bit better. Okay, let's... And I've been <laughs> I've been smelting kelp because I don't want to keep running back and forth to get because I don't have coal I I have no coal, <laughs> uh, but it's all good it's all good okay, but that's that I so yeah it's it's not all the way done, but if I stand over here, it's pretty good looking. Yeah, it's pretty good looking. I gotta do I gotta figure out something for the ceiling still too. But I really do like it. It's turning out pretty good. The green and purple, I think, clash in a good way. And bringing in this terracotta adds a lot of color to it. The other thing I could do is I could try bringing coral blocks in. And do that instead or as well. But I think that at that point we're having too much color. The floor has a lot of color. Which we might switch out. But the wall. This wall looks really nice. So I like that. Okay. Uh, we are going to end there. 
it's getting late for me so I'll finish this off screen and we'll come back and probably next week we'll start working on probably the 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 farms which would be the 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 creeper farm to make it to lighthouse and the skeleton farm to make it to a grinder but yeah thanks for watching make sure you guys like subscribe and you guys have a great night